good evening and welcome back as we head into tonight. Showers are going to continue to push through for tonight and to Sunday into Monday and even part of the day for Tuesday. So we have multiple rounds of showers ahead of us. However, though, we will finally be drying out as we head into mid this upcoming week. Just briefly for part of the day Tuesday into Wednesday, then another set of showers and storms do arrive as we head into the end of this upcoming week as well. So as you can see, a lot of showers and storms pushing across northeastern Kansas for today, a mostly cloudy day. However, though, you can really just see how those showers and storms just lined right up parallel with the Kansas Turnpike pushing further into the northwest. So really central parts of our viewing area saw a lot of rainfall. And right now we have a period of dry for most of us currently, unless you're pushing way further onto the east, pushing closer to the state line or further up north. We're still seeing a fair amount of showers right now in Marshall County, pushing into Nemaha and Brown County as well all looking at a few scattered showers still lingering for tonight. However, though, the rain doesn't stop just here. It's just a period of dry. Like I mentioned, the rest of these showers are continuously pushing further towards the east, and most of us have already seen a fair amount of rain. 2.72 inches for Emporia, putting them into a flood advisory earlier today. That is now dropped, looking at 1.4 inches in Topeka, 1.2 inches in Manhattan. So as much needed beneficial rain, we're definitely getting it and that was just our rain total since midnight as we head into this upcoming week into Tuesday by Tuesday morning counties further towards the southeast anticipating up to five inches of rainfall. So if you're sitting in Anderson, Franklin, Coffee County, all looking at upwards to five inches of rainfall further into the blue shaded region, which is towards this north into the west, looking at maybe about an inch of rainfall. So not quite as much. Those showers and storms will be favoring just southeast of the Kansas Turnpike as we head into tomorrow, as you can see, really picking up as we head into Sunday morning. However, though, another brief drying period. Maybe you can get out and enjoy brunch early tomorrow morning because we will stay mostly dry briefly. Not sunny, though. Lots of clouds still hanging on. And then another set of storms pushing through as we head into Sunday evening. Now looking primarily south of I-70 as we head into Sunday. And these are going to continue to push through. Still favoring further south of I-35 there. And these storms Sunday night into Monday do have the chance of seeing a few strong storms with this. So make sure you're just staying weather aware, not only just the strong storms, but also the increased risk of some flooding areas as well. Even as we head into Monday, another round of showers and storms do head our way. So it is needed rain, but it definitely will feel quite excessive by the time we head into Tuesday morning. 62 degrees right now in Topeka, 55 for Marysville, and 62 still for Emporia. So temperatures definitely are trending a bit on on the warmer side right now. We are at 47 degrees is what we start off at. Got up to 62. And then don't forget, on top of all this rain, we're also falling back one hour tonight at 2 a.m. So make sure you set your clocks for that. Like I mentioned, a brief drying period midweek until another system begins to roll in. We have rain heading into Thursday there with late rain Thursday into Friday. It's shaping up to look like another rainy weekend ahead of us. Yeah, we're, we, we needed the rain so bad and then now we... It's it seems like we can't get rid of it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. We needed the rain, and now by the time Tuesday morning rolls around, I think we'll all be probably sick of it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Ashton. <laughs>